All right, thank you for being patient. That took me a little bit longer to like get ready for everything than I thought it would. But um, this is the medium. I'm excited about this. I've never played this game. This game, I mean, clearly this game just came out. It's like a next gen Xbox PC exclusive. It's um, got this dual reality world thing in it where um, basically you're a psychic medium who is existing simultaneously in the physical world and the spiritual world and I guess you switch between them but also sometimes it's at the same time and you're acting with both in real time and I don't really know what to expect from this because there's never been a game like this so yeah I'm, I'm just I'm super excited how are you guys doing this evening hopefully well Let's. I'm just trying to make sure that the game volume and everything is going right. I, I I don't fucking I don't know how to play this game. You're just gonna lurk during the stream, okay, Tim? Welcome, Tim. By the way, hope you're having a good day. I'd like to do that, but I also want to make sure this... Well, let's, let's see how it goes. Ray tracing! I'm excited about that. Why am I not... Suddenly... This was working before. Hmm. All right. Well, we're going to see. We're going to make sure that the sound of the game comes through. And if not, then I'll just mess with the settings some more. But I thought that was working prior. So I guess we'll find out. Okay. That's definitely not coming. Yep. All right, hold on. I'm going to close out the game. Give me a second. I'm going to load it back up. <sighs> of course. Of freaking course. Looked like it was working properly, and then all of a sudden it was just like, what? Okay. There we go. Okay. That sound is the game sound. That's good. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. What the hell? And then the... I also see that my camera's frozen. Give me one sec. There we go. <sighs> ah, that's not the right thing. That is. There we go. Now we have sound. All right. I'm happy. That's what the problem was. Okay. 
I love that they coded that into the game. That's that is a feature that I want to see in more games because most of the time with these games and how they code the game, the audio redirecting the audio to the right channels and such on the stream is a pain, massive pain in the ass. All right. Now that I know you guys have sound coming through, now let's play the game. Why is there a play button? It all starts there we go. with a dead girl. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. I can see that I'm going to have to adjust the so display settings. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Oh, well. That wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. It's if okay. They only knew. Oh. I can relate to that. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just... Okay. Going to the settings right now before we move on any further. Okay, let me see how this affects Okay. I need to make that bigger. There we go. And, oh, look, I'm frozen. Okay. That just reinforces that I know that that's a thing I need to do. 
Okay. Okay. Everything looks right there. Okay. Had to find his special tie clip. Find his special tie clip, you say? Funeral. Ultrasound. Neurologist visit. Hmm. Okay. God dang it. Interesting. I don't know how to know. I have to find a special tie. Yeah. Nice to see you too. So this is going to be one of those types of games. Fixed camera angles, walking around the room. I'm going to be honest, I haven't actually played too many games like this. Um, I've never played like the Resident Evil games, for example. So you're probably going to have to be a little bit patient with me as I navigate this. supposed to do anything else with that? No? Okay. Well, Looks found the funeral. Nourishing. Look at that cat food. Hmm. Pollock funeral of Sierra Mine. Miners from the Sierra Mine came to work today as usual, but instead of flashlights and pickaxes, they carried a black casket adorned with lit candles, a symbol of their company's demise. Ooh. This is not the death of our mine, says members of the Sierra Mine Rescue Committee. We will not let our jobs be buried. The casket is meant for the Vistilla Coal Company. They add, the miners have also announced that they will come to work tomorrow. They refuse to accept the Sierra mine was liquidated. Meanwhile, their colleagues continue to protest outside the company headquarters in Tiki, building a symbolic wall in the entrance. Each day, they add another layer of bricks. There are only five left until the wall reaches the ceiling. Ceiling. NATO's new mission, projecting stability in a post-Cold War world. Jesus. Earlier today, U.S. President Bill Clinton. Oh, interesting. So we're in the 90s in this game. Delivered a major foreign policy address to commemorate the fall of the Berlin Wall. The president commended the progress that was made in the last decade towards strengthening democracy in the Central and Eastern Europe, while also outlining the challenges that lie ahead. The U.S. leader also emphasized the fact that the, his country's leadership and involvement have been critical to Europe's peaceful transformation. President Clinton's vision of an undivided, democratic, and peaceful Europe has now been furthered by another key achievement, the induction of Poland, Hungary, and the Czech Republic in the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. By doing so, the NATO leaders are hoping to strengthen these young democracies, ensure ensuring their further contribution to the security and stability of Europe. Oh, God damn it! I keep hitting escape to, like, go back. They refuse to accept that their minds are closed and blah, blah, with the jobs. That's why I can't believe you... it's all still here. Oh, Jack. I don't know. That's why you invest in transitional training for green jobs. That way, it's not just leaving out the coal miners, and they're not just suddenly jobless. They have a thing to go towards. It's very easy. What, what am I supposed to, am I supposed to like find something in this? How to develop photos. Oh, hey, instructions. Illuminate photo for five seconds. Dip in multigrade for three seconds. Dip in stop for three seconds. Dip in fixer for three seconds. Okay, so down the line, five, three, three, three. I 
guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. How do I... What? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then what? How do I actually put it in the water? Or in the solution? How do I do the five second thing? <laughs> What the fuck? Huh. Okay. Well, that's unreasonable. Hold on a second. Go where you need to be. Okay, so that's just clearly... I'm just gonna pretend that that was working. And we'll see if it actually applies. Did I do it? Did I do the thing? Or did I ruin it? Missed my window. Now it's overexposed. Okay. So this must be the first step. So maybe one, two, three, four. So five, three, three, three. Is that what's happening? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I did the thing. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. So I was just going left to right when I needed to go right to left. I don't know anything about photo stuff. So I'm learning. One, two, three. Oops. One. Two, three. That was the last photo I took of you, Jack. Shit. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it's Jack's funeral. Sad. So I'm not going to say I learned how to develop photos today. Right. The tie clip. Pull yourself together, Marianne. I'm not going to assume I learned how to do photo stuff, but I'm going to assume that I just learned like the... Oh, hey, George Orwell, 1984. I'm going to assume that that's just enough to be ignorant of a subject. <laughs> Okay. So, what are you? Is this where the tie is? Oh, I get a heartbreaking feeling from that room. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. Dear Mr. Orkin, we must request you to attend the next parent-teacher meeting, as we would like to discuss with you the situation that took place last Thursday. To recap, Marianne gave one of the students a message from his recently deceased grandmother. Oh, so as a student, she was a... Me, she was doing the mediumistic stuff. 
We understand it was Marianne's way of counseling her fellow student, but we're sure you realize that this behavior is inappropriate, to say the least. Given that uh, this is not the first behavioral problem we've informed you about, we believe it's high time for us to meet and talk about Marianne's future in our school. Sincerely, Principal of Primary School Number 7, Zofia Kania. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. So, intensive care unit admission card, Marianne, no last name, three years old, female, second degree burn, thermal burns covering 35% of total body surface area, trunk and upper limbs area, suspected inhalation injury, care and management stabilization, sorry, care and management and stabilization. <laughs> Early wound coverage, respiratory support initiated, fluid resuscitation initiated, pain control initiated, patient placed on high flow oxygen until carbon monoxide poisoning, poisoning is ruled out. From a burn? Interesting, I didn't realize carbon monoxide poisoning was a thing Kids from that. from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. Mm. Yeah. I used to have a thing for them. Don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. I feel like we're about to go butterfly effect. <sighs> All right, where is this tie? Hello, kitty. Jack's room. It's like he never... Damn it. Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? Okay. Let's do this the other way. What? Okay, insight. Oh. That's why she needs the tie clip. I'm okay, guessing so that Jack can it. be presentable at the funeral. Jack's waiting downstairs. Time to say goodbye. I oh, used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Keep mm. hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. Mm. Is there a way to move faster? We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Hmm. I thought that door was open. And that I could explore a bit. I'm curious to see where this game's going. Wow, that's a really dark staircase. Hello, Ishka. Welcome. I'm excited you're here. Jack uh taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. So to catch you up, because not a whole lot's happened yet, uh, the game started off with um, a little girl being shot. Um, and that's... That information hasn't come into play yet. That was just the opening scene. And then we cut to this. And she is 
Morning Jack, who I assume is her partner, parent. Oh, probably parent, actually, judging from a letter uh, regarding school stuff. And his funeral is happening. And he ran a funeral home, and she lived upstairs at a funeral home. And now we're going to what I assume is Jack's funeral. And I'm realizing that the this type of game is one of those fixed camera angle games. Clearly, you can see it. But I've never played like Resident Evil or those games like this before, so this is new to me. I'm getting used to controlling this. Is there anything I'm supposed to do in here before I go through that? Yeah. Figured context is probably important to know what the hell is going on. I have some insight ability that I can trigger. God damn it. Get around the table! I inspect it. Name of deceased. Okay, record of funeral. Adam Nowak, so this is someone else. Let's see, just information, date of birth, mail. Oh, and this takes place in the 90s. Uh, um, they were t there was a news article about, like, the Berlin Wall and President Clinton and such, so this also takes place in the 90s. I'm hanging out here while I do the dishes, so I'll be here for at least a little bit. That's awesome. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Car accident, married, embalming, dressing body, flowers. Nowak brought funeral payment confirmation today. It's in the cabinet. Also, Robert took Friday off, so we'll need someone else for the funeral. Yeah, I think Jack's her parent, or Jack's her dad. I had the birthday, I think he might have been her partner. Oh, I didn't actually look at the birthday. Oh, that was someone else's birthday, not Jack. That was a client, I guess. I think. Um there was a there was a letter earlier that was why can't I open this damn door? There we go. There was a letter. Jesus. There was a letter earlier that she got when she was a child. I thought the birth year was like 1976 or something. Yeah. So when um the letter was talking about how, like, Jack, her dad, uh, like, Jack was requested for a parent-teacher conference because Marianne, my character, was, um, giving messages to fellow students from their deceased grandmother. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, that's no worries. You're, you're missing the, a lot of the context and whose names are whose and such, so... No worries. I appreciate you being helpful. Not sure if I'm ready for this. Hey, Jack. Okay, putting the tie clip on. Or I thought that I was. What am I supposed to do? God damn it. I mean, there's no tie. I got your special clip. No. Where's your tie? I thought she was just gonna, like, pull out the tie or something. Ah. Uh, there it is. I see it. Ah. Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it... It just burns you from the inside out. you're ready but am I
<laughs> oh, can't you people read? The sign says closed. <gasps> Am I supposed to have insight about this? Do I use insight powers? No? Okay, I'ma just leave this creepy room. Bye, guys! Oh. Ah, uh, that's a person up there. My god, this is dark. Hold on. When I adjusted the thing, I think I need to readjust the gamma at this point because I changed some of the display settings earlier. That is really dark. means oh the cat's still flipping oh too, huh? uh, so this room is suddenly a mess and then it happened as it did so many times before just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse So much for aging gracefully. Where is that? Thing? Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, I Jack. Know, I, I can't just. What? Let it go. Uh, it's not important. You. You are crying. What's wrong, dear? <gasps> Why is it so cold in here? Jo, where is that? Shh, 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 shh. Hmm? It's okay, hey. Jack. Hmm? It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. <laughs> what would I ever do without you? <laughs> Jack. Hmm? Don't worry about it. Hmm. It's time to get some rest. I have a feeling this isn't just her father it might be like a adopted father maybe I don't she keeps calling him Jack when I'm at the hospital are, are you sure you're gonna be all right I could be entirely wrong about the parental yes, connection it's gonna be fine uh, oh you, you know uh, I promised myself once I would never this let is such a cool way to present this not while I'm I promise. Uh, no risky stuff then. Huh? All right? All right, Jack. Now, get some uh, rest. I need no. Yes, yes. Be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Always. 
Why the mask? Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. <sighs> Divided. Torn between two realities. But... No. I was the only one. Oh. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. That's if, creepy. If this is a joke, uh... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh -huh. <laughs> listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, oh. there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Nemo Resort. Find me there. Please. The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? That's right. The Hello? girl that was shot in the beginning, that was a nightmare she was having. I forgot. <sighs> Bloober team. When I hear Bloober, all I can think of is Goober. And then that makes me think of Into the Spider-Verse. Which, ironically, is also sort of split realities. Or, maybe not ironic, but coincidentally, also split realities. I should call this, I should title this stream, Mentalist Plays the Medium. <laughs> that just occurred to me. Off I went, on nothing but a hunch, a call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, 
He sure seemed to know me. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. Okay. Give me a second here. There we go. We're going to change that there. Ooh, allow me to update that title elsewhere too, because like, I actually really like that. Mentalist plays the medium. Might as well uh, use it when it makes sense. <laughs> Right? Like, that makes sense, right? I feel like that gives, like, an interesting context to things. Alright. Oh, actually. Try that just to see if we can smooth things out just a little bit further. You sir, I yeah. See, I find it amusing too. <laughs> Anyone home? I guess not. Niwa says hello. You would love it here, my dear. Amazing day room for kids and free art lessons. Lots of families. And the hotel is huge! I've never seen anything like it. Wish you could be here with me. Miss you! F. I don't know who F is. Uh, can I go back here? What the? Hello? Thomas? Is, is, should, wait, can I go through this? Is there a, no, like, yeah, th this fixed camera angle game, so, like, I get, like, I have nothing against them. Tight. I, needed to I just get confused sometimes. Okay, can't go over there. Oh, hello. Uh, right, you give me no useful information. I assume I have to go around that thing, but I'm just seeing if there's anything around here. It appears not. <sighs> Just exploring. You want to keep me out, Neva? Ew. We're gonna have to do better than that. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned vacation resort. Until one day, it just... Oh, I just, uh, I want to change that to Toggle. 
can I change that to toggle? Hold breath? Wait. How many things out of body experience? There's so much shit! I don't think I can change those things. Okay. Well then. Guess we're dealing with it. And so an urban legend was born. The Neva Massacre. The details were always fuzzy. That's running. Crazed workers, ancient curses. You know, the usual. We all float down here. Actually, I've never even seen either of those movies, so I probably shouldn't. But Mr. Ball is gone! Huh. Hello. Wait. Okay. Wait. What? Am I supposed to follow those footprints in the other direction? What? Okay, I follow it to his thing. And... For what reason, though? Like, I... The, there's nothing I can do with any object here. Okay. What angle am I looking at this from? Okay, I'm looking at it here. I really enjoyed the first it. The sequel is okay, but the first was excellent. Would recommend. Okay. I'll have to add that to my list. I mean, the tracks stopped going in this direction, but... Oh, wait, there they are again. Oh, this would be much better with a controller. What's this? Ah, uh, someone, spirit, thing, put their hand on a love symbol, carved into a tree. There's another one over here. Okay, I can't interact with that one. So this is weird because it makes it difficult to know what's important. I guess I'm just tracking. Spirit tracking. Really wish that run was a toggle and not a hold. Huh. Looks like an old fort. Might be my way in. Warning, due to the recently unearthed remains, renovation works have been suspended pending archaeological examination. Okay, so I found my way here, and now what? 
something happened here. If a place had a story to tell, well, I guess I was there to listen. Oh, insight applies to both worlds. Okay. See, now this is cool. This is like the conceptual stuff that made me super interested in this game when I first found out about it. Focus on the spirit world. Oh, I can. What? Okay. Interesting. Okay. So I have to. Uh, not okay. Through here. Not with the power out. When you exist in two realities, you're affected by either. I'd learned that the hard way. So how do I cut the power? Oh. Fascinating. But is there anything I can do about that? I don't know where that power cable goes, and it seems like it was going off to the left. Oh, there's another one. This, this type of game isn't normally my cup of tea, and when I say this type, I'm referring specifically to gameplay mechanics. The place felt old and soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. This type Thousand of- Thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Lonely fragile, waiting for someone to embrace it. This type of concept and premise, though, love that. But so, it's worth it. I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world? I don't understand. What... I absorbed energy for what purpose? What do I do with it? What? Oh, is that to short the power circuit? Come on, step off the wall. Let go. In any case, I figured I could use it. This is interesting. Energy's energy, right? Or just spirit last. Oh, so that worked. Good for you, Marianne. These powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. Slight tangent, but have you seen Pan's Labyrinth? 
I think I have a really long time ago. Okay. So that seems unpleasant. Existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. So when it was split, it was interesting because I found myself defaulting to watching the left hand of the screen and glancing over at the right rather than taking them both in. And I'm curious if you guys noticed yourself prioritizing one over the other. That was just interesting. For some reason, this game is making me think of that movie. Another worthy addition to a watch list. Fire hazard, eh? Okay, okay. I'd be willing to do that. You can add uh, Pan's Labyrinth to a list. My movie list. It's interesting. So my inside, I can see the circle, like where they gave limits to. Oh, what happened to you? You was killed. I was toggling focus between the two sides of the screen a bit. Yeah. Okay, guess I'm going this way. That's an interesting camera angle. By the way, it looks like your camera feed is frozen. Oh shit, okay. After this cutscene, I'll fix that. Actually, I can pause. So let's fix that now. Thank you for letting me know. Go. What the hell are you, Neva? The aura in that place. I've seen others like it, but never this intense. It was like a landfill of memories, emotions. Fascinating. But none of them good. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> Hello? Anybody in there? Locked. Obviously. There's gotta be another way. Shit. The handle's missing. Maybe I could replace it with something. What? Okay. Huh? Okay. Oh, wait. Right? That's where I saw those... Those footprints are gone! What? There was footprints there! 
Oh, man. Okay, so there's going to be a lot that I'm probably going to end up missing in this game. It's kind of cool that they made the game that um, complex. Okay. Nowhere to go there. See, if I could see what was over here in the beginning, I'd see that there was doors to go to. Oh, wait, that's the one that... What? And that door's just changed... What up, Tom? Yeah, they did. They went, um, classic Resident Evil camera. Yeah. Ah. I think there's a broken window up there. If only I could reach it. Super cool take on that camera angle. Oh. Yeah, uh... You, like, yeah. Like, they've done some cool shit already. Um, this is not a style of game I'm used to playing. Found it. What do I do with it? I'm here. No, it's definitely something. Trust me, you made the right call sending me. Yes, it's only a matter of time. Even okay. the objects here had auras. When I touched them, I could sense their stories words, images, feelings left behind. Then what? But yeah, how's your day going, Tom? Psychometry. Yes, yes. So, so she's a medium, but yeah, that that would be a psychometry thing. Ah. Okay, so that those doors have no handles. That's chained. If only I could reach up there. Yeah, there was a scene earlier already that was super cool with, um, her deceased dad. Um, and how they split the realities and... Uh, I'm not used to this kind of camera angle stuff. Just finished a killer workout. Now I'm chilling with my Twitch friend. Thank you, friend. This looks fascinating how you hear about this game. So this game is actually um, an Xbox exclusive and it's a next gen game and it's also on PC. Uh, so during like the announcement with like the Xbox one or sorry, the Xbox Series X, God, their, their, their naming ability is fucking terrible. Uh, uh, this was one of the the uh, lineup games that comes free with Game Pass and everything, and it just launched a few days ago. Um, so I basically saw, like, the original announcement trailer and such, and it just looks super cool. Hey, old timer. Now, what's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? Doubling as a spare bedroom, apparently. My love, summer in full swing. The resort is stuffed to the gills. And you know what that means. More work for yours truly. But it's good work. Honest work. Mr. Reckowick said that he'd like to keep me on. Can you believe it? I won't screw this up. Not this time. Promise. F. There's that F again. Interesting. 
interesting. I wasn't expecting that handwriting style. Hope you don't mind if... Oops. I cut her off. I think she was saying, hope you don't mind if I pop your trunk. Not much here. Although, this could come in handy. Ow! Shit! What the hell? Hmm. I think we found our way in. Pry open the doors with the screwdriver, I imagine. Yee. I'm glad you're having a good day, Tom. How's Tina doing? Voila! So began the great dumpster heist of 1999. <laughs> okay, so this is the end of the 90s. Wait, what? Am I not go anywhere? She's unconscious after a long day of work. Hopefully she'll wake up soon. Yeah, you know, hopefully. I hope she gets a rest. I- what the hell? Is there nothing in here for me? I must be missing something. What would be the point of this room? Why have to get a screwdriver to get in here only to... Oh, there it is. We're gonna jump up that window, I see. I'm starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. You better be worth it. <laughs> Examine the trunk. Yeah, yeah, that is clever. The trunk is where I got that screwdriver. Don't cut yourself. Meant the dumpster, not the trunk. Ah, fair. Well, that ended up being the answer, so well thought. More psychometry. Massacre. I need to find this Thomas guy and get the hell out of here. Hey, I found Tom! <laughs> we don't know. We don't know what happened yet. We don't know why she's here. Some guy called her, said, I know what you are. She just lost her dad. She's had a nightmare. He referenced a nightmare with a dead girl that was in her. Hello? Anyone? Thomas? You there? I'm excited for you to see the dual reality. <laughs> Sinners be damned. Where is Mike Enslin? Feel so pathetic. Uh, vote for Pedro! <laughs> Jesus. I haven't heard that in forever. Apparently I... 
I know, and she's looking for me. <laughs> yeah, so dual reality isn't what we tend to refer to as dual reality. Um, here, it's literally just split realities and interacting between both realms. You'll see. It's super interesting. Quality time by the lake. And it's really cool as a concept. I've never seen a game do it before. Like that. Or at least like this. My dearest, I know I promised to visit, but guess what? I got promoted. Yes, really. Meet the new chief of staff. I think this might be it. A fresh start, a place to call home. For us, I mean. You, me, the kids. I know it sounds crazy, but just think about it. Yours forever, F. Star of the Bolshoi Theater, Vivian, a oh, worker's. Thomas? Tom, stop playing hide and seek. Easy, Marianne. It's just a good old fashioned haunted hotel. Wait. Calm your ass down and answer the bell. Ah. <sighs> Hello? When did this game take place? Didn't you say late 90s? Napoleon Dynamite came out in 2004. <laughs> Continuity error. You right. Oh, there's that ball again. The ball that wasn't. Shit, this is different than the last time. Hi there. Oh, hi. You startled me. I did, didn't I? You look real scared. I'm sadness. Marianne. Sadness. Is that your name? I mean, you seem pretty cheerful to me. Well, it's what I remember. Um, my friends used to call me by a different name. But I don't remember what it was. Your friends? Oh, yeah. I used to have a lot of friends here. Um, she also has a mask. But they're all gone now. Did something happen to them? Mm, uh, 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 I don't really want to talk about it. That, that's okay. So, do you live here? All by yourself? <laughs> you wouldn't believe how boring it gets sometimes. I can imagine. This place must have been... Oh, yes. So busy. People coming and going all the time. <laughs> Always someone to play with. Must have been nice. It was. Not anymore. So. Tell me. What happened? Uh, I, I remember. People stopped coming. Uh, only a, a few of them stayed. But they became very sad. Very angry. They might hurt you. <laughs> Thanks. That's, I can take care of myself. Hey, I was wondering, have you seen Mary Ann? <gasps> yes. W would you play with me just for a little while? It, it, it's been so long since I played with anyone. Oh, okay, okay. But I need your help first. Yes! 
Nothing I'm looking yet. for a man. Thomas. Do you know him? Uh, let me think. Uh, I've heard that name before. Uh, some Take your time. Uh, oh, yeah. The second floor. We can look there. Come on. Hurry, oh, Wait. I can't go that way. So, can't go up here because obviousness. Is there anything? No clues at the top? Okay. Let's see. Oh, duck, duck, fuck, fuck a duck. Hmm. Sounds like you're stuck with fucking ducks. I really like her jacket. Yeah! Character design. Parkour! Yes! Hardcore parkour! <laughs> The Duckling. Polish Legends. The Dragon of Wobble Hill. Page 4. Why do my teeth fall out? Uh, Tom, is this a, a real Polish legend? Is that, a, is that a thing? I realize you probably don't know all Polish legends. I know the irony. <laughs> it is! Okay. That's awesome. That's really cool. I like when they put, like, real touches in. So, this is super interesting. So, things in both worlds affect you. And interacting with objects in the physical world is a left click. Interacting with objects in the spiritual world is a right click. And, um, yeah, it's just... Okwaleski. I don't even know that I'm saying that right. The Vatvel Dragon is the first story they teach kids in Polish school. Fascinating. Wow. Um, alright, so, oops, I fucking hit the wrong button. Come on, get back in the game. There we go. Anything... An elevator. Might as well see if it works. What's this one? Restaurant. Safest place for the youngest. I, this didn't look like it was all that safe. What should I drink tonight? Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't know, Tom. I. I, I'm probably not the right qu person to ask that question, because I don't know a whole lot. Sadness. But I'm sure I you know all I sorts of cocktails that you can make. Shit. Okay, Marianne, just take a deep breath and... Well, the F for an out-of-body experience? Oh, I can move throughout the spirit world without my physical body. So we've got astral projection there. going on. Okay. Fuse box. Need some energy to spark it up. Fruity floral or minty chocolate. Minty chocolate sounds awesome. What? Yeah, right. This is super cool. Move fast. Fast. Okay, so there's. I'm limited in my time on this. Didn't realize that. This is such a cool concept. An out-of-body experience. It's like taking a plunge into nothingness. Stay under for too long and it just pulls you in. I'm disintegrating. Uh, where was there a fuse box? I don't ever remember seeing a fuse box anywhere. Besides the upstairs one. Oh, I'm dumb. I probably have to do that spirit charge thing. Uh, Ishka also votes for minty chocolate. Okay, I return to my body. I return to my body. I'm trying again. Oh, 
I don't still have a spirit charge. Okay. So if that's not the answer... Huh. So I really was supposed to go down here. I see something glowing over there. I think that's where I gotta go. I just need to not lose track of where I am... Camera-wise? I think that was over here? I'm not used to games with this type of fixed camera. There we go. Okay, Marianne. Now get your ghostly ass back and power up that elevator. Uh... to make it oh. <sighs> oh shit if used without costume okay so I died my soul died sadness and woe okay but I know what to do now hey an elevator. Might as well see if it works. Sadness. Uh. I wish I knew her real name. Womp womp. Gotta go fast. Experience. It's like taking a plunge into nothingness. Stay under for too long and it just pulls you in. Take the charge. Go back. Okay, Mary. <laughs> Now get your ghostly ass back and power up that elevator. Wait, hold F. Can I do that and keep my spirit charge? Oh, I can. I didn't have to run back. There, a fuse box. Need some energy to spark it up. I mean, that's what I was doing. There we go. Hmm. That's so cool. Such a cool concept. So we have Mediumship, we have psychometry, we have astral projection. Oh, I can't make it up this. And I can't. Oh, wait, what's this? Art of internationally acclaimed painter Richard Tarkowski for the first time. Do I just need to go to another floor? I think there was multiple floors I could select from on the elevator. Go. Another Polish name. Curious. Okay. Now where did she go? You are here. Okay. Ooh. 
Oops, I didn't want to use that. Oh, wait, I see her, f I see her spirit prints. God damn it, this camera angle thing is fucking me up. Well, she is clearly this way. What is this over here? Wait, that's where I just... Uh. I just go through this door? Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Huh. What is that? <gasps> Sadness? Okay. Not getting through here. Interesting. Not a fan of the static camera. Really disorienting. Right? Like, I... I tend to avoid these types of games. I... Just from a mechanical standpoint. Fuck! Ah! I have a spirit shield? Holy shit. I didn't even know I could do that. Me neither. It's just the concept and the premise in this game is so interesting that it's just, I'm just, I'm, I'm down with it. Or I'm willing to go through it. I get they kind of had to for the concept to work as smoothly, but yeah. Yeah. That's a fair point. An odd key. That was the big complaint of Resident Evil before RE4. It's a cheap way to make the game scarier since you're more easily disoriented. It makes sense. Oh, I just needed that key, didn't I? Does that mean I can go back to that one door now? I don't know if this is a wise idea. I think I'm gonna keep going this way. Oh God, that was fucking loud and shrill. Oh, that's where I went for the key. I don't think a key's gonna help me here. Hmm. Okay, guess I'm going through the, uh... The spiritual mayflies? I don't even know... What to think of what to call that. By the way, I've driven through a horde of mayflies before on the 35 bridge. Those in Minnesota will know what I'm talking about. That was disgusting. Oh, God, I hate that sound. By the way, out of curiosity, Tom, so as I'm walking through this and moving through this, I'm finding my focus defaulting to the physical screen and then glancing at the spiritual one, but mostly going back to this. And Ishka was saying that she was going back and forth. Tom, what do you find yourself doing as, like, the split screen thing? Do you find yourself defaulting to one or the other or just kind of looking at both evenly? 
I'm really curious. Just for the sake of curiosity. Yes. I'm working on it. Yes, I know. I just... Yes. I understand. Just give me some time. A few days. You get what you want. Ugh. That voice. I don't know why, but it gives me shivers. Hmm. I ask myself, where is the problem most likely to be solved, and only focus on that screen until I hit a deadlock, then I switch. You know what? That makes sense. That makes absolute sense for you. Looks yep. Like the only way. Great. Ah. Honestly, I should have predicted that. That makes a lot of sense. This room. It feels cold. Memories of grief. Loneliness. It's, it's weird because I find myself defaulting to the physical one for navigational purposes, but I find the the spiritual one just more inherently interesting. The spark's too weak to absorb. It's like it's missing something. Mm. Uh -uh. An old prescription. I know these drugs all too well. Ursula Ros Roskowski, diagnosed with depression, hysteria, insomnia, and malnutrition, treated with electroshock? What? <laughs> I don't understand what that is that I'm standing Some in or walking through. Some objects soak up moments from the past. Just squeeze in the right spot and let it pour out. What? One. One. 100% agreed. I think the slight faded look of the spirit world is intentionally meant to shift your attention to the physical world. Another Polak. Polak. Ah, that sound. Weary of time. For my favorite nurse. Oh, Mr. Tarkovsky. You shouldn't have. Please. It's the least I can do. For all the good work you do around here. Huh. An actual happy memory. So there's more to this place than just doom and gloom. Ah, sunflower weary of time. For my favorite nurse. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. Skip, skip, skip. I thought maybe something else would. Oh, right, I can't walk there because the physical world, I, or the spiritual world, treated with electroshock. Great. That person had a real good doctor, not. Agreed. Dear Ursula, you're probably wondering why I would write this letter instead of expressing myself directly. The reason I'm afraid is painfully simple. I'm writing this because I'm a coward, because I couldn't bring myself to look you in the eye and say what meant, what is meant to be said, what must be said. Because the mere thought of breaking the heart of someone so delicate, so fragile, is simply more than I can bear. Is this a breakup text through a letter? <laughs> Ursula, my dearest Ursula. These past few months have brought joy to my heart, to know you are there for me, to feel our friendship blossom. And yet, that is all it can be. Friendship. Close, pure, true, but never more. Please try to understand being this close, this exposed to someone has never been easy for me. Life and its struggles have left me changed, damaged, in ways you couldn't possibly comprehend. You deserve someone to hold you, to share life's joys and sorrows with you. How oh, I wish I could be that person, but I'm not. 
Words cannot express my regret, as I know, deep in my heart, this marks the end of our friendship. Please forgive me. Forgive forever your friend, RT. So that's not Q. I mean, that's not Q. That's not F. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Useless old hag. Why would he care any more than the others? <laughs> it's more than grief. More than despair. This letter crushed her spirit. Sad. God, I've gotten th these letters. I'm sorry. Okay, nothing else to explore. I hate these angles. I fucking- wait. Shit, there are thousands <gasps> of them. Oh! I'm gonna need more energy to get through. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yep. That startled the shit out of me. Sad. Oh, right. Speaking of, I'm supposed to meet Sadness here. Yes? This still doesn't have the energy, right? Uh, the spark's too weak to absorb. So I've never had it's one that was missing something. too weak to absorb, so I'm not entirely sure what I need to do to get that to be strong enough to absorb, essentially. Oh, shit. This is falling apart. <sighs> Looks like I'm in for another dive. Oh, I can't lean up against the wall? Of course. Oh, God. I hate this. Especially if that skin. Ah. The skin is incredibly f thin. I realize that's really fucking morbid. <laughs> Wait, what do I do with this? I don't think there is anything to do with this. How do I... reconstruct that memory? Right, I'm gonna disintegrate. All right, I should get back. Okay, let's try this again because I still have that one memory to construct somehow. Last time there was a thing I could click and then I just move my mouse around until it, like, in the right direction and such. But I didn't have a thing to click here. Is that just a memory I have to accept that I can't reconstruct right now?
Oh. Oh, can I cut that? Get rid of that? I can't do anything to get rid of it from the other side, can I? Hearing these creepy things. I can't tell what that's saying. Come. Come at me, Ursula. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. I need to charge there to get my shield so I can go through the bug thing. I don't know how to boost the charge on it. Okay, I was already in here. That's where, like, the letter and the pills were. I swear I tried to do that before and it didn't work. Yeah. That there we go. Disturbingly satisfying. Ew. Also, if it was skin, you could like touch it and it would like fall apart. If that's all it was. Not that I expect the makers of the game to know that. The light of a memory strong enough to defy this place. I'll take your word for it. That was the sunflower thing. Come on, which direction? There we go. You want me to read you another one, darling? Oh, look at this mess. Don't worry, I'll clean you up in no time. I'm here for you, my love. This man, Tarkovsky, he ended up as her patient? Does that make the mountain of energy work? Nope. Uh, the oh, this is bizarre. To absorb. Like yeah, missing I something. agree. That's interesting. So her face and facial expressions and movements are exactly the same, except her eye positioning doesn't seem to be the... Or at least not always. I'm trying to go through that. <gasps> oh, right. No, 
don't... I don't know what I'm missing here. What am I not noticing? That could be because she's not directly seeing the spirit world. It's an interesting thought. I'm just going in circles at this point. What the hell? Oh, something here. Ah. You. <laughs> I know you're there. Wish I had the strength to cut you out. You don't deserve to exist. You're nothing. Well, that's quite the claim. That's fucked up. There have been times when I thought about ending it all. Oh, it's a mirror. But I right. was too afraid that a part of me would go on, trapped on the other side. Forever. Oof. That's... <sighs> this is a really cool just concept for a game. I do wish we had the tech to make it not this from a mechanical standpoint. But what am I missing? Yep, uh -huh. that still don't do shit. So many controls that doing power, like sp certain powers and walking at the same time is difficult. You know where sadness is. I, I don't, but that's a good point. I kind of, I, I, she's somewhere on this floor and I assume it's on the other side of those bugs. Because I can't... I'm trying to use my insight here to see... If there's any hints, but there really isn't. saw in the fucking toilet oh no you can't walk through them I I don't think so judging from her commentary it seemed highly unlikely she said she needed more shield to get through that so I I assume if I do it I just die but fuck might be worth a shot Let's see. Let's see if it even lets me, or if it just kills me, or if it's some horrible thing. Like moths to a point. Oh. Yeah, that didn't work out. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, no, you're fine. Uh, it, it, it's worth a shot. 
And who knows, maybe there was a glitch and having it reload will restart something and fix it. Oh fuck, I have to reconstruct this again. Some objects soak up moments from the past. Just squeeze on the right spot and let it pour out. Uh, oh. Yep. Saw that. An old prescription. Saw I that. Just to get through the informational stuff again. Shit, there are thousands of them. I'm gonna need more energy to get through. Uh, the spark's too weak to absorb. It's like it's missing something. What? What? Oh, would it be missing though? Oh, that's just that door through the moths, or the spirit moths. Oh shit! This is falling apart. <sighs> Looks like I'm in for another dive. Can't walk in shield. Gonna try and maybe you'll get a tip. Wait, give what a try? Sorry, I didn't see that when you immediately said it. Can't walk and shield simultaneously. No, I can. I just need. Oh, this is where I banged my knee before. That's such a dick move. Um, I can shield. I just need to absorb spirit energy in order to. Do a spell like that, which is the thing where it needs more spark. So once I give it spark, I can absorb it, and then I can do the shield. That's the thing that I need. I... Oh, fuck me. All right, so you missed that. <laughs> yeah, that scared the shit out of me before, and I banged my goddamn knee on the desk. Satisfying. Yep, yep, nope, it was quite amusing. I'm sure someone will clip it. <laughs> okay, this flower. Useful. Yep. The light of a memory strong enough to defy this place. You want me to read you another? Oh, don't worry. I'm here. This man, Tarkovsky, ended up at 